hey Sam from 3D here. In this video I would like to show you what is inside characters files library. 3D pack, multi pack consists of 9, at least 9 other 3D packs which you can use. It's beautifully done. The thing is that all of these cartoon 3D characters are, you can combine them together, you can create them. You know, like you can play with the teens, adults, ants, and uh, uncles, elders, pets, and so on, and put them in the room, and, or in a game, or you know, in a 3D illustration. You can change the colors to fit your brand, and so on. So let's uh, take a look what is inside. It's the biggest 3D pack. I will show you the web page, but be sure to always go to characters.design to see what is new, what is updated. But I think you can see what is this nicely done. Be sure that uh, if you want to buy all the packs, buy them all at once because uh, the price, like if you buy them separately, it's uh, 481 in, and if you buy them at once, it's uh, 299. It's huge, there are, and I'm not kidding, there are three billion unique combinations. Like you can combine like sweatshirt with the hair, with the accessories, you know, with the poses and different face expressions and so on. So yeah, we have like adults, pack, uncles, tolls, teens, babies, elders, fit body, pets and rooms. Like every pack consists of uh, Blender source files and a lot of PNG files. If you go here and you can easily learn like from every pack a specific information, like for example tolls, it will open the Gumroad page and you can see that okay for one pack it's uh, 59 and you can see what is inside. like. Every pack has modular assets like hairs, tops, pants, shoes, accessories, you know, and you can combine them together. All of them have different poses, you know, like uh, tolls has different poses than adults. It has different poses than babies and so on and so on. So yeah, you can go and explore here. Uh, definitely explore the rooms. We plan to improve, like add more rooms, uh, different rooms. So definitely if you have any feedback, uh, put it down below the, in the comment section or write me at samuel at 3d.design. Every 3D pack, as I mentioned, has different poses, like this is adults poses, you see this is 67, the hair tolls has 40, another 40 for uncles and aunts, teens has 51, elders has like 40 poses. If you would need like more poses or different poses, you can always reach out or comment. So you see like there are the, also the feed body poses. All of them are rigged, fully rigged, contain Blender source files, I will show you in a minute. And also there is a cool thing about like a 3D character generator. You can see I'm playing with it here. I'm like changing like the pens here. I will show you also in the Blender how it, it's, you can play with that. Yeah, it's nicely low poly for games and so on and so forth. And also one cool thing which uh, I would like to mention is AR kit blend shapes and VSMS, meaning like you can use uh, these 3D characters and for example with AI like ChatGPT or you know with the 11 Labs or whatever tool you choose and you can mimic that 3D character is talking. It's super cool because like AR kit is pretty standard, so you can use it in, in AR, VR, games and whatever tool. It will ba basically mimic like how person is talking. Yeah, we have also lip sync if you want to make some animations. Tons, like more than 50,000 PNG files. And uh, yeah, they are rendered like 4K. It's 4,000 per 4,000 pixels, so it's super, super huge. This is basically how it is working in nutshell, in nice graphics that the people, you can actually change the pose, uh, change the hairs, bodies, you know, and yeah, it's, it's super fun. Yeah, uh, definitely if you want to learn more like what we did, go to uh, our showcase uh, where you can see that we did a lot of illustrations, 3D illustrations, and uh, also customers did a lot of lot of stuff. We have a um, five star rating, and you know, also this is good good example of you know what you can do with UI or 3D animations, because yeah, you can you can animate them, make some some cool stuff, and and so on. Yeah, one one important thing is that if you are interested in a license, go to 3D.design slash license and you will see what you can and can't do. In case you want to have some extended license, definitely reach out to me at somewhere at 3D.design. And we can 
discuss your use case. Okay, let's uh, jump. Like every pack is consisting of, of source files, of Blender files, and also on PNG files. As you can see, for example, we have uh, the brown, which is uh, basically making based on poses. You have based on pose different PNG files. But for example, I'm in elders right now in a female, and you can see that we have like per character. It is like one character is in different poses, like in 3D. So yeah, it's 4,000 pixels per 4,000, and we have like more than 50,000 of PNG files. So you can be sure that you will never need PNG file or like 3D illustration from any other pack. So this is pretty, this is enough. Okay, let's jump to Blender files and uh, what is inside like source files. Definitely we have the tutorials, how you can use that. So don't worry if you are new to Blender, which skin colors we used, but uh, let's go to Blender file. You can see it's fully rigged. Uh, don't worry if you are scared from the rig you can turn off the stuff here yeah so now it looks uh, much much more easier uh, yeah you can see that we have like the poses here and you can easily change because we have also like a character generator let me just play with that i will choose the collection here the character and close let's uh, turn off the base body let's find the mail because we have everything here the base body doesn't have to be there so let's refresh now i need to turn on the body and now i can play easily like i can change the this cage deformation doesn't have to be there so yes so now it's working nicely here i can you know find the, the hair which i like easily i can change it so this is like generator second is nicely let's take a look the colors yeah it's it's fun Let's put some eyeglasses. Haha, <laughs> it looks cool. Then let's put some, you know, hair we have, accessories, legs. This one's uh, outfits. I don't need the outfit, I want to the shirt. So yeah, that's it. And now if I change it, I have, I have the pose. And you can see I'm using the pose 13. So I need to go here, to 13 and just turn it on. Now I have the pose. It's super simple. I'm just clicking. I don't need to know like anything about the blender. And now I can play with the expression. For example, you see that like, the angry one because it's coding and ChatGPT is not working. So, or happy that ChatGPT is working or whatever tool he is using. You see now, and this is like the blender file. It's super simple to use. Like, everything is set. Also, we like you see that there are a lot of objects. We add it with every pack so we can combine them together. You can copy and paste the pose. It would need a little help, but yeah, that's definitely doable. You can combine together. You can add character with the generator, just clicking and finding it and just append. We did also a lot of tutorials on that. And uh, yeah, there are different light versions. So, like you can use primary or you can combine them together to get different types of lighting. So it's super, super easy to use and fun. Of course, if you want to make your custom uh, pose, it's definitely doable. Or, you know, you can play with the, let's see, let's see the torso. Yeah, for example, the head. Yeah, I can go here if you if you want something faster so let's turn on simplify now it's it's faster you see it's not using some modifiers meaning like it's blender is faster and it's enough for the preview you see faster now i can turn off it it's fun so you can definitely play with it and um, change easily the colors let's just change it where is the surface yes this is how easy but i did tutorial for that so you can follow it there and play with there it's fun so if you have any questions, reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design. If you want to learn, definitely always go to characters.design to see what is new and uh, you have updated information. If you want to learn what we do, because we do a lot of custom work for uh, customers like 3D modeling, 3D animations or whatever you choose regarding 3D, 3D rigging, uh, go to 3d.design and go there and check out like what other libraries we have. So yeah, that was it. Have a great day, creative day and bye.